what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're actually going to be talking about stranger things in this video here again today talking about stranger things season four specifically of course stranger things season four is coming to us seven days from now less than seven days actually at this point uh volume one will be releasing on netflix it was reported earlier today that volume one is actually going to consist of seven episodes and not five like i thought was originally reported and the last volume, volume two, will have just the two episodes, episodes eight and nine, which have like feature length film run times from what I've been seeing online. And I just want to talk about the first eight minutes that was, that was released today and go into my thoughts about it. Now, they've already made it clear. I think they've the Duffer brothers have talked about how they've drawn a lot of inspiration from Nightmare on Elm Street, Hellraiser, things like Pinhead, uh and all these other different icons that they've always wanted to create in their universe and they have a chance to do that now with this character named Vecna who is clearly the big bad this time around for the upcoming season and all of the Hawkins residents as it pertains to the upside down and all of the other things that we have to deal with like Max and her trauma from her brother's demise and the kids going into high school there's so many different unique things going on in this season that's going to of course create a breath of fresh air i feel also from the first eight minutes that was released this season is definitely honing in on the suspense elements and the horror aspect of it uh there were times when i was watching this, i felt like i was watching a saw movie uh, especially at the end there with dr brenner dr brenner who is featured heavily in these first eight minutes we see this is like a flashback mostly in 1979 i believe taking place at hawkins laboratory and we see dr brenner in interacting with number 10 who was of course one of the subjects that was there a part of the mk ultra stuff i guess and how we ultimately end is it's just a Hawkins Lab massacre. A Hawkins Lab massacre in occurs. Dr. Brenner is shown being knocked unconscious. And then who knows how long he was out of commission for. But he eventually wakes up. He stumbles onto the dead body of 10. He has this breakdown moment where he clearly seems to be very caring towards this individual. And then he stumbles into the surroundings of all the carnage that's ensued he sees all these other dead subjects goes into the uh i think it was the rainbow room i might be mistaken but he goes into the room and there is 11 standing there with her back to him at first before turning around and he asked what have you done now the interesting thing here if you're someone who's watched those first eight minutes is i don't think i was seeing things there's a literal crack on the wall which indicates to me of course they've already done this to of course set you up they've made it very obvious and heavily in heavily convincing that this seems to be why dr brenner treated l the way that he did in the beginning of the original season or from what we have seen of him in the past because of the fact that she he thinks that she killed number 10 thinks that she committed all those other deaths and just went on a rampage in hawkins lab at one point uh, it seems like that's why he might have been a little bit aggressive with her from what we've seen in the past and that treatment we've seen from him early on because it looks like they're now diving into showing us that this man isn't just completely evil as he was portrayed to be there's going to be some development that he gets i guess this time around that goes into exploring him a bit more his connections with these students with these kids and their time at hawkins lab and i guess kind of just giving us a reason for as to why he might have had some gripes with 11 now again going back to that crack on the wall they've already made it plainly obvious that 11 did this which means of course that she did not <laughs> i just mean i'm not saying that it's not going to be revealed that she didn't do it i just think that that's the direction it will go into i'm not saying there'll be anything wrong if they take that route but i think how plainly obvious it's become that she was the one who did this it wasn't her it was something else that was in there probably another subject again i'm still going to go off of my other video i did where i talked about vecna being number one this most likely was vecna maybe it was vecna maybe vecna uh or somebody who will end up being revealed as vecna was the one who went on this rampage in the lab and all 11 did was just stumble onto them and defended herself against them that's that's all i could imagine would be the plot twist because again i've made a point to mention dr brenner was knocked unconscious all brenner does is wake up and stumble into the room where there's a crack on the wall and 11 is just standing there with blood all over her 
So I think it's clear that something happened in there, but you're led to believe, of course, that what happened was that she went on that rampage. I don't think that's what it is. I think what happened in there was she was defending herself from the thing that went on the rampage, which I think is going to end up being revealed as Vecna. Vecna would have been one of the subjects that was staying in Hawkins lab. Maybe not then, but maybe in another like years prior something like that i think that's the direction they're going to take obviously i know people still think robert england has a chance of being vecna and victor krill will have something to do with this vecna and krill from the trailer seem to have some connections i think that again that's the obvious link so you have the obvious of already making it look like 11 did it which probably means she did it and then the obvious stuff of having robert england in the in the villainous role when you're already telling us that you've been inspired by nightmare on elm street for this upcoming season those are the things that i think would be, would be things that people turn away from okay so that means it's not robert england this means that and the second one of course being that 11 did not commit the hawkins lab massacre it was someone else so vecna seems to have a connection i would say with 11 just going off of just a theory at this point and then 11 and also uh what is his name krill victor krill robert england's character i don't think robert himself will be portraying vecna i think there is a history that will be explored between vecna 11 and the lab and vecna and the krill house krill family robert england's character that's what i think will be revealed having robert england be vector i'm not saying again there's anything wrong with that it just seems like again when considering how things have been presented to you as so plain and obvious that of course they're going to pull the rug out from under you there's something else going on vecna is most likely something connected to hawkins lab as well given how human in nature it seems to be uh the most human of the upside down foes i think we've had since the demogorgon so i think that there's going to be a twist involving vecna the hawkins lab and vecna being behind the hawkins lab massacre will dive into who vecna was before he got sent to the upside down and that's how that will unfold now the season itself i'm very excited for it the first eight minutes had me hooked there's a lot of cool shots definitely tapping into those horror elements a bit more a lot of suspense too i can't wait to see what happens the theme song still gives me chills uh after an opening like that especially so i can't wait to see that when it airs officially but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video